we're ordained ministers. Um, and so on top of um, just helping to spiritually disciple the public and our congregation, we help serve the public. Part of our job is to go before people and get out there and be the face or the smile. Your face and your smile is the face and the smile of the Salvation Army wherever you're at. I had a resistance to no game. And so um, just traumatic, the, like dental anxiety. I've always been kind of nervous and I've gotten a couple spots and so sometimes it does affect how I smile and mm -hmm. things like that. And I mean, I love to smile and that's one of the lot of things people notice first about me. That's what I fell in love with first. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm kind of just looking forward to not having to be a self-conscious. We went through a list of red flags that all the way back from when I was a child and I hit a lot of them. And I was like, you're the first dentist that has ever even asked me if I've ever had any of these issues. And this was the first time someone's like, why? It was just refreshing. And honestly, it was a load off. Okay, it's been great. I mean, it's the same smile that I've looked at for 40 years, but it's a little different for a girl who had no enamel. I look now and I go, this is what I've always wanted. I like looking at this. <laughs> Dentistry can be so intimidating. And I mean, it's shaming. That's the one thing I loved about here. So because of how bad it was, we were able to get medical, but thankfully um, we were able to not have to worry about that a whole lot. I'm still getting used to it and I've still got some healing, some stitches in place and things like that. You know, Justin was able to take care of the top and the bottom. You know, he fixed the bottom teeth however he could. And of course my tops are completely new. And so it's so much better to just go ahead and do it. You put it off and you put it off and do it. You're equipped for success. I mean, you can tell that you guys are invested in our success as well.